the general transfer window is about to open, so that means it's time to play buy, keep, or sell. That's right, folks, back once again with another video, this time taking a look at the full squad of Blackburn Rovers and see who I feel would leave or could leave Ewood Park over the transfer window. So, I'll start the breakdown with a quick look at Blackburn Rovers' goalkeepers. That's right, David Raya, Jason Lautweiler, and Andrew Fisher. We obviously got David Raya, who is our number one, who replaced Jason Steele, who left Ewa Park to join Sunderland for a bit of a relegation scrap during the summer. And Raya's come in and he's made that number one spot his own, uh, with leaving Jason Lautweiler and Andrew Fisher uh, competing for spots in the Czech Trade Cup, League Cup, and FA Cup. Uh, and Lightwine has come in and he's done a decent job. Um, I think he could challenge David Raya over the next couple of seasons if he has the patience. Uh, the big Canadian has done an okay job so far in the FA Cup. And Andrew Fisher, still still a youngster, and he's also got uh, you know a promising future. And he could eventually be the number one at Blackburn Rovers because I think Raya, his stock will rise in the next 12 months. If we don't make it out of League One, I feel he might uh, start to consider his options a little bit. Because um, he is proven to be a decent set of hands. But overall, I think all three keepers, they're going to be remaining with us at Ewood Park. So, yeah, no brainers. Keep all three. They're a decent bunch. There's no need to strengthen our goalkeeping ranks. I think we've also got a, quite a few other youngsters coming through. So, let's kick on and take a look at the defenders. Here's uh, what I consider the first team defensive uh, crew. Uh, first and foremost, Sam Hart came into Blackburn Rovers over the summer. Uh, definitely one for the future. Could replace Derek Williams as left back uh, one of these days. But obviously, he's, he's only been here a short amount of time and I see him remaining. Next up, Paul Caddis, right back. Uh, understudy to Ryan Naimbi. He's been there, brought in as cover. He's featured early on in the season. Um, and I think he'll get another run in the team. Uh, I, was, I was on the fence on this one. I wasn't too sure if, he, if, if we should sell or sell him despite the fact that he's only come in in the summer. But to be honest with you, I think it's good to have him around. Next up, captain, skipper, Charlie Mulgrew. Now, he's going to have a lot of number of uh, interested parties, especially in the championship, maybe back at Scotland. Uh, but to be honest with you, this guy has to stay at uh, Ewood Park. He's done such a, a tremendous job at the back line. Uh, obviously, he's, a, he's a, a level head, good leadership, good role model, and he can also take a penalty kick and a free kick with that dynamo of a left peg. So, obviously, he ain't going anywhere. Next up, Ryan Naimbi is also a, a, a right back like Paul Caddis, uh, a youngster, come through the academy for Blackburn Rovers. He's had a few uh, nightmarish games recently, but to be honest with you, uh, he's probably still our best right back. Next up, this is probably the first casualty in my eyes, the Blackburn Rovers. I think Elliot Ward uh, has done an okay job when called upon. However, he has been uh, known to make a few blunders. I think if we can get an offer on the table for him, I think we should uh, we should take it and, and maybe move him on for one more move uh, before he hangs up his boots. Uh, so, ta-ta for you, Elliot Ward. I think you might get another, you might be moving on uh, in this transfer window. Next up, Scott Wharton, youngster, uh, who could come in and fill that void by Elliot Ward unless Tony Mowbray has got other plans up his sleeve. Uh, again, definitely one for the future. He ain't going anywhere. So I will uh, scratch off those other two options there. Next up, Paul Downing is actually on loan from MK Dons. And I think Tony Mowbray has to pull out all the stops. He's been a revelation since he's coming here. I don't know why MK Dons aren't playing him, but Mowbray's found a bit of a gem. So he's got to try and pull out all the stops and pull this guy in on a permanent deal. Next up is Derek Williams, uh, you know, commanding left back. Uh, decent runner of the ball. Uh, he knows he, he likes to get forward a lot, and uh, and I think he's probably one of the first names on the team sheet. Sam Hart's the only real competition left back, um, so as, as a no-brainer, we cannot get rid of him whatsoever. So I will keep a hold of him. Next up is Daryl Lennon, and he's the big question mark of my defence. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of transfer uh, activity surrounding him in the summer. Sheffield United were tabling up a couple of bids. I think they even lodged a few bids, which Tony Mowbray uh, declined. But I think they're going to be back again, and some other teams probably going to be sniffing around. And in all honesty, I think Tony Mowbray is going to say push the push the push the button on this one and actually sell him because I think the money will be too good to turn down, and then it will give him the options to reinforce other areas, maybe bring Downing in at a, at a budget. So uh, I think. Darren Lennon's time at Blackburn Rovers 
is coming to an end, even though he is still injured. He's on, he's on the verge of a uh, first-team return, but I don't think if he does return, he'll only play a handful of games before he's shown the door in a nice way. Uh, let's kick on to the midfielders. These are my uh, what I would consider first-team midfielders, another bunch of nine players. First and foremost, Craig Conway. Now, he is a, a loyal Blackburn Rovers player. He's been around a while since the Gary Bowyer days. Um, and he's had a couple of nightmarish turns recently, but he's still a quality player, especially at League One level. Um, so I'm going to say we're going to keep this guy. You know, I, I've, I've been a supporter of, of Craig Conway over the years. Yes, he's dipped recently. He is getting older. Um, I don't know how long he's going to be a Blackburn Rovers player for. Maybe in the summer he might kick on. Uh, to another club. Next up, Raheem Harper has come in. He's had a bit of a nightmare loan spell. And if possible, he could go back. But to be honest with you, I will say keep him. He's, he's good. He's, I think Mowbray will bring the best out of him eventually. And it does give a, a you know a fresh set of legs off the bench. Next up, uh, Elliot Bennett, cracking role model off the pitch. Uh, and he's a decent player on this pitch. Again, at this level, it's stupid to get rid of him. So, nope, he's going nowhere. Next up, Bradley Dack. Had a rusty start to his uh, Blackburn Rose career, but now he's proved pivotal, uh, scoring goals for fun, cracking character, and I think he's bringing the best out of other players. I think he's, uh, you know, we, we can have a lot of stick in the muds at Ewood Park, but we do need some some guys to to change morale a little bit, and he's definitely done that. So uh, credit to Bradley Dak. Next on, Richard Smallwood, another one of uh, Tony Mowbray's recruits. Stupid. Let's just skip this one because there's no point point about it. He's going nowhere. Next up, Liam Feeney's currently on loan at Cardiff. I think if we can get an op uh, the opportunity to sell him on a permanent basis, I think we should do so. Next up, Peter Whittingham, another one of Tony Mowbray's signings in the summer. He's uh, he's been in and out of the squad recently. He has to compete with Corey Evans and Richard Smallwood for one of those central midfield spots. But when he's in there, he's, he does an okay job. Uh, and to be honest with you, with the amount of experience he has, the level-headedness he offers, it's, it'll be stupid to get rid of him. So I, I will see him sticking around at least to the end of the season. Next up, another one of Tony Mowbray's signings of the summer. But this guy's had a bit of a rough start to his career at Ewood Park. And to be honest with you, I think if given the opportunity, he will actually be sold. He hasn't really taken his chances when given them. He may, um, I do recall that monstrous blunder against Plymouth, which would have won the game. Uh, and since then, he hasn't really bounced back. So he's not really adjusted to the new environment at Ewood Park. And I think he might be a little homesick or something like that. But anyway, if given the opportunity, I think Gladwin will go. Next up is another one. One of those controversial ones, Corey Evans. Uh, again, in and out of the squad in a rotational basis with Smallwood and Whittingham. Uh, he does offer some value for Blackburn Rovers, so I think he could be also out the door. Yes, I think a club in the Championship could offer him an escape route. Maybe even a, a, a shot at Scottish football. Uh, either way, he does offer some value that Tony Mowbray could take up uh, in order to spruce up his midfield and also his defence. Next up is the forward line. These are the five players that I consider forwards at the club. Harry Chapman on loan. Now, this guy was a revelation at the start of the season. Very exciting, especially off the bench. But a bit of an injury has kind of sidelined his activity for the most part. If at all possible, Tony Mowbray can make this deal a reality and bring him on a permanent basis, I believe he should do so. But in all honesty, I don't think it's going to happen because I think the value of Harry Chapman is going to be a little bit out of our budget. Next up, Joseph Nuttall was a revelation in the reserves. And he's done an okay job when called upon on the first team. One for the future, perhaps. Maybe, just maybe, he's earned himself uh, another contract. Uh, but right now, I see him going nowhere. Next up, the one player who I'm completely torn about. I don't know which side of the fence I'm on with Marcus Antonison. He does always give a 100% when called upon. However, the end product is a little lackluster. You know, the, the amount of chances he's had, he should be well into double figures right now. But right now, he's only got eight goals this season. And that penalty miss against Northampton is still uh, burning a hole in my stomach. But to be honest with you, um, I don't think we're going to get much... Uh, better options, especially on loan. Uh, so I think he'll see out the season, but in the summer, maybe we'll consider something else. Next up, Danny Graham, uh, one of the high earners of Blackburn Rovers. Uh, is he getting enough game time at Ewood Park? He's one of the ones I would consider selling if a good offer came in, especially if we could improve uh, other areas of the field. Um, but to be honest with you, I think he's not going anywhere. I think he's going to stay at Blackburn Rovers, see out at least the season. He's one of the players who's at fault of our relegation, so maybe he'll he'll try and do some diligence and try and get us back into the championship at very worst. Next up, final player on the books, 
Dominic Samuel come in again once again. Tony Mowbray is signing of the summer. Scored a few goals. No brainer. He ain't going anywhere. He's probably our most decent striker at the moment. Um, he can score goals. He's, he's very pacey. He can hold up the ball. Uh, he's a good option for Tony Mowbray. Um, so, yeah. No brainer. He ain't going anywhere. And this is it. And this is the full squad and my decisions. Obviously, Tony Mowbray's got his own plans. But this is how I feel it will pan out over the next 30-odd uh, days in the transfer window. I think we're going to sell Elliot Ward, Daryl Ennehan, Corey Evans, Ben Gladwin, and Liam Feeney. And I'm hoping upon hope that we bring in Paul Downing and Harry Chapman. As for other players coming in, Tony Mowbray's got his own plans up his sleeve. Maybe another centre-back maybe a couple wide players and maybe a striker who can actually put the ball in the back of the net on a regular basis. But anyway, that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Stick them in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Uh, the next game is just around the corner. So stick around. Until then, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So until next time, thumbs up, subscribe.